in our morning rounds, a gut reaction. There is growing evidence the key to your feelings can be found in your stomach. That connection could dramatically change the future of medicine. Our Dr. David Agus joins us again from Los Angeles. David, good morning. Good morning, Vanita. This is really fascinating and in some ways not surprising when you think about it. But what is the connection? Well, you have tenfold more bacteria in your gut than you do human cells in the body. And these bacteria are a key part of us. They metabolize our food and they control many hormone levels. And there's a direct connection between the gut and the brain called the vagus nerve. So if these bacteria make hormones that can stimulate the nerve and change it, they can affect feelings. And so throughout history, going back to Hippocrates' time, there's an association between what you ate and how you feel. And now through some of the big data studies, we're starting to see these relationships. Potentially a relationship between high glycemic index foods and depression. Potentially some of the neurodevelopment disorders tied to what you eat. Because what you eat changes the bacteria in your GI tract. So you're saying, David, that as we go to the barbecue this weekend, we can determine how we're going to feel by what we put in our mouth? Exactly. So, Anthony, I need a list of what you're going to eat before you do it, and then I'll tell you what's going to happen. <laughs> It's none of it's good, David, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> a kale oh, salad good versus a hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> so, David, uh, in terms of uh, different kinds of treatment that already do certain things like this, how does this stack up in terms of regulating your gut and your feelings? Well, right now, most of the treatments we have for psychiatric disorders, for how you feel, target the hormones in the brain. Going forward, what we're going to probably do is change the bacteria, which are going to hit some of the root causes rather than the end game, which is hitting the brain. So it's an exciting time. The problem is there are 20,000 different bacteria in each of us. And so it's a new field, it's a growing field, and all of a sudden we know there's this connection. The challenge is gonna be to change it so we can actually benefit from it. So there's no like go-to foods then, because I thought what you were gonna tell us is there's certain things you definitely should be eating, like a probiotic and a yogurt, but is it, does it vary for each person then? That's the key. Um, and so this goes back to the time of Hippocrates, where he would write, when I ate this food, I felt this way or this way. I want everybody to start to keep food diaries. If you eat a certain food and you feel great afterwards, write it down. If you eat a certain food, like Anthony's going to eat in a little while, and <laughs> the next day doesn't feel well, write that down also. And so we could be in charge of our own health. And so this is the personalized medicine of today. It's going to be more technological going forward, but even today we can start to act on it. Well, I know chocolate makes me happy, so I'm sticking with that one. <laughs> Dr. Right. David Agus, thank you so much.